So I saw a patient who had a traumatic disruption, which could be an annular tear or a tear to the disc and causes a bulge or herniation to the disc. And the patient had started in conservative treatment, physical therapy, using oral medications, which include anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxants, medications that help with nerve pain, such as Neurontin. And this patient continued to have symptoms into their, in their back and in their leg produced from this disc disruption. The patient um, continued to have symptoms and uh, we elected after long discussion to undergo what we call an epidural steroid injection. An epidural steroid injection is the introduction of, through a small needle under an x-ray machine, uh, of a medication called a corticosteroid. A corticosteroid helps decrease inflammation, inflammation around the disc, inflammation to the nerve. The patient underwent two injections over the course of six weeks at uh, the L4, L5 segment. And today seeing the patient, the patient had significant reduction in their leg and their back pain. They work construction and they're able to go back to work in construction. Um, they use anti-inflammatory medicine uh, as needed for flare-up. Um, and overall seen significant improvement from the epidural steroid injection. In this particular case, this patient I'll see back in uh, three or four weeks to make sure they're continuing to have benefit and that they don't need any further treatment. Otherwise, this patient would be a successful epidural steroid injection for all of the reasons we would do it, for back pain and leg pain. Um, so when we talk about a traumatic disc disruption, this could be from lifting, lifting and twisting, could be as simple as a sneeze. Um, we see it commonly with falls. We see, I see patients like this in motor vehicle accidents commonly. So trauma that goes through the spine from as much as a freeway crash to as simple as picking up a, a pot. Um, so I think we see all kinds of people. We see patients as obviously they age, the disc becomes less healthy, less uh, pliable. And so um, car accident, a fall, picking up a pot, a sneeze can actually cause damage or trauma to the disc and cause a herniation causing back pain, back pain and leg pain.